anyone who's ever really met Terry Silver is convinced he must be thwarted and taken down before his plan to make Karate and Cobra Kai synonymous with coffee and Starbucks comes to fruition. That analogy aged worse than I have waiting for season 6. This ain't a boycott though for Cobra Kai, it's an overdue ass whooping. So yeah, no cute intro, here's my review of the latter half of season 5. Bringing us to episode 6, Ouroboros. We see Silver making good on getting his old friends together. No Snake or Dennis, but possibly a Yakuza gang? Just a bunch of these tough looking dudes in all black or... They could all be students, perhaps, with the, uh, a new threat emerging. A woman all dressed in black in a Sensei Kim Dai-un. Three guesses who she's related to. You asked for the finest senseis from my dojong, and here they are. She's none too impressed with the extravagant limos and private jet to bring her here. Silver, ready to take Cobra Kai's karate global. Let's run the same plan he mentioned it to an undercover Chosen a few episodes this season ago, saying... 50% ownership? That's just a number. I'm talking legacy. We're going to share your grandfather's karate with the world. Daniel, back up. He's not going to even engage Silver anymore. She's got, the, she's got that uh, anti-Cobra Kai pilot lit uh, beating out of him. And we just got Sam back in karate with multiple anti-Cobra Kai fires lit. Johnny, Chosen, Amanda's all in. But Dan Daniel's like, it's not my job to police the valley. Not anymore. And then a really bad callback, too, to, like, movie one's uh, ass-whooping where he's got a black eye and he puts on sunglasses to hide it. I'm like, ooh. This please is Chris when Tori tells him LaRusso got badly hurt. One less enemy to worry about, far as he's concerned. He warns Tori, Silver's smart, but he'll slip, keeping her behind enemy lines as she's there when Silver buys out Topanga Karate, the blue geese from the 50th All Valley. No Xander Stone in sight. I wonder his allegiance would have lied here. Hmm. Who is here as student? Devin Lee. She's the only one who does not accept the new Cobra Kai Gi at uh, Silver and his other sensei's urging. They all trust in Terry's words of how Topanga Karate continues to stack up L's, but now that stops. After the acquisition's made, Tori goes to follow Terry out. Sensei Kim says, Stay. I need to know who the best is, and you're the champion, and you'll help me find out who. This is all happening live on Sam's phone, meanwhile. Probably another dojo getting uh, snaked out by uh, Silver's money. This is Johnny ready to go over there. You know, he's in the shadows right now. He's out in the open. I'm going to go kick his ass. I mean, the tries to have chosen. Please say something. One man army. No good. I'll go with. Not at all what I was trying to get that. <laughs> so we get a little Tory Devin bonding after a small argument. Tory trying to see if Devin's, you know, up to Cobra Kai. Devin strong-willed enough to not be immediately sold, still wearing the blue gi, but doing the practice knife strikes all the same under Kim dae instruction. Her late mother giving her a never-give-up mentality. Tori, of course. Mm. Yeah, I can relate to that. Telling Devin to take that anger and focus it. Who else is bonding right now? Is movie one bad guy and movie two bad guy? Over Daniel being, ah, what a pain in the ass, but... Never back down from a fight or a challenge. Johnny and Chosen, Johnny and Chosen show everybody now. Like I said in, back in the movie reviews, Daniel's stubbornness and pride is both a gift and curse. They head, head down to the newest Cobra Kai dojo. Johnny sees Devin there in the blue geese, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Chosen's like, whoa, whoa hey, hold, wisely hold them back. Like, don't walk into a numbers game. You're on the wrong end of there, Johnny. You gotta come back later. Chris has an idea to, uh... Play the good soldier act. She has to get it early by playing nice. That gets picked apart by the prison counselor, while Master Kim uses a training exercise to have Tori and Devin fight hard. Snatch bamboo rod from the table and use any means necessary to take it. Tori whoops Devin again, being pushed by Master Kim to strike hard with no mercy, whipping her own bamboo rod, no less. Ugh. Already one episode in, she's... Trying to crazily usurp, not really usurp the top spot, but maybe like the most villainous. With Terry Silver saying something, but she's just as fanatic as he is. But yeah, all this to push Tori to not go easy at all on Devin, sending her running out the door. So Chris decides to finally get real with the counselor a little bit. He sees his, uh, this, he gets like the, of a lifetime guilt trip. You know, he's seen 
Like, through the counselor, he sees his old girlfriend and his Vietnam superior, Tori, Silver, a younger Johnny, current Johnny, and young boy Kreese, all representing. Asking, you know, uh, how'd you get here? Kreese is all defensive at first, like, uh, it's a waste of my time and blah, blah, blah. The breakdown boils down to, do you feel anger? Yeah, the people who put me here, none of this was my fault. I was a sensei to toughen people up. So they could be like you? Kreese confessing finally. So they could be better. Was trying to play nice with some of the other prisoners hassling him earlier for his uh, jello cup. Later when they come around again after the confession, and perhaps due to the fact he's not getting that early parole he was good soldiering for, decides when they escalate to like open assault. Kreese gets up. We see like him briefly as like young Kreese, but then more and more as he's fighting through it, comes back to like current Kreese. You know, more than just a plan to get out, as he told Tori before, jacks up the main bully up against the wall and tells him, From now on, you're going to give me your jello. You have a problem with that? No. No what? No, Sensei. Holy shit, is Chris going to redeem convicts? <laughs> the real scare straight. <laughs> he's on the inside, and he's going to turn on... <laughs> if only that were the case. <laughs> After hours, Johnny and Chosen fight one of the senseis at the dojo. Was there earlier, uh, what's his name, like Shan Wu or somebody? Chosen's all, wait, we walk into that den of lions and you'll get eaten, we'll come back. Uh, when it's just, it's just one right now. Lions is right! Master Kim recognizes Chosen, but has not met Daniel, so she thinks Johnny is LaRusso. He's like, oh, at least he heals from his injuries so quickly. He's like, what the hell, lady, I look nothing like LaRusso. Chosen knows his own strength. He beat the Six Valley senseis on his own. Him and Johnny had to team up just to take down one of Master Kim's presents at the dojo. So it's like, okay, there's too much advantage here. Their dojo, we should, we'll, we'll leave for now. We'll give them a warning once again before they go. But yeah, the power scaling's real. Back at the main state-of-the-art Cobra Kai dojo, there's Devin Lee back at the Black Gi, adamantly wanting to join the fold. Maybe get some revenge on Tori? Amanda trying to bring her husband out of his defeatist funk. She's like, okay, Chosen, you're new. Johnny, you're more of a doer than a thinker. Johnny's like, eh, fair. <laughs> I think he says, you're kind of like a blunt instrument. And he's just like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you know, he knows she's not saying it from to insult him. She's just like, yeah, it's you, it, you, you play to your strengths. You is what you is. And she's just like, yeah, no, no, I get it. So her plan to build this Miyagi time capsule talks it out, fixes things. You know, I apologize for not seeing Silver as the enemy. Uh, you know, Daniel's really fearful still that, you know, by by getting involved, I'm going to make things worse like I have been, you know, and all that stuff. And they, t Robbie and Sam come in and tell them, you know, just the opposite. You helped because you fought for what you believed in. I want to stop Silver and Cobra Kai for uh, Kenny and Tori's sake, says Robbie. Sam then shows everybody all in the dojo ready. I'm surprised Dimitri didn't butt in with a Avengers Assemble at the end of that. <laughs> Which brings us to Episode 7, Bad Eggs. It's all but clear to our three hero senseis that Cobra Kai is indeed taking the valley over. Giving kids basically the ultimatum of with us or against us. Bully or be bullied. Example of the latter once again with Anthony. Shows up at one of these things. He's like, hey, free, he's like, hey, free Cobra Kai swag. His t-shirt. Clearly in front of throws it on the ground <laughs> and there's Kenny to tase him in the butt over and over <laughs> actually no it's Kenny and others just uh, they see this disrespect and swirly him in an unflushed toilet Ugh. dirty fucking pig customer man one of you motherfuckers not flushing Shh, I hate those so they're at the dealership looking up the this, they have this like okay the, the dojos are here 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 coming up with a trying to come up with a game plan on how to stop them Amanda's, you know, we might want to rethink our nuclear option again. It's just like, you know, Kreese is the closest one to silver. The enemy of my enemy. Chosen Moon Time uh, trains the students to take an egg and protect them from Chosen himself. <gasps> Run, children! This is not a drill! Bit of a callback to the more insufferable Dimitri, thinking a tiny shoebox will protect the egg from Chosen's thrown dagger. Right through like a dart. Pachoo! Shoebox and all. Dimitri did not heed my warning. Chosen's not normal. He's the chosen one. So yeah, a bit of tough love and harsh training from him as also Master Kim. 
You know, we need leaders to push beyond the valley. So here's some real competition. Pair off, we need to find out who's the leader and who the followers are among the students. Pair up two to uh, fight off against one say I thought they were pairing off at first. No, no, it's uh, two on one. Kyler pulling rank with Kenny, still trying to be top dog. Tori and Devin, much the same. Devin wants to prove uh, she's better than Tori, taking Tori's warning of, you know, Cobra Kai's dangerous. You, you, should, you shouldn't be here. You know, that's code for like, oh, are you afraid you're having your Queen Cobra status taken? So they get tranced easily. So while Chosen's training the Miyagi Do's, or Miyagi Fangs, they never really specify. <laughs> Daniel and Johnny make a deal with the lesser devil in Creeks. He's like, I'll get a better lawyer, lawyer for you to help you uh, get out of here. Chris was like, yeah, that's didn't do anything wrong. Lawyer probably set up by Chris also to kind of like basically stand there and do nothing or whatever. Daniel's like, all right, I'll get you a better lawyer in exchange for telling us what you know about Silver. What's his, what's his game plan? Chosen in hunt mode in the meantime. Last two left are Sam and Miguel, who back to talking and out again, which is long enough for Chosen to sweep Miguel, breaking the egg in his pocket, and pulls a snatch pebble from Sam's book bag, and bam. Bring them all back in, and we'll try again tomorrow. Silver bringing Kenny to his office. You know, your father was in the army, leader. When he got deployed, then your brother became the man of the house. He's in juvie. Then you follow Robbie Keane. And now Kyler? I even I looked at that. I was like, yeah, really, kid? Is this... You know, you're only number two because you ain't shown you... Kyler, you number one, kid. Kenny thinking, yeah, I'm just following the exercise, assuming Kyler's the leader because he assumed Silver said as much. as like, oh, really? Did, did I say that? Or did you assume that? Sam had a short conversation with uh, Brother Anthony earlier. About the, well, you took some training. Wax on, wax off. He's like, yeah, I paid somebody. And she's like, hmm. Use your brain to overcome that. Maybe that's your strength. After Chosen brings in more eggs to have them try again, saying, adapt or one by one, the snake will eat the egg. So this gets Anthony thinking. It's like, uh, all the kids are like, well, it's time to get our butts kicked in. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's all just group up. All of us working together to stand against Chosen. Which again, he, Chosen's good. It was the chosen one, but even this numbers game keep him from the eggs all literally in one basket. Dimitri's like, are we supposed to not do that? But no, it works. Chosen concedes. This is what we have over Cobra Kai. They spread mile wide, but inch deep. Our movement's the other way around. This is our strength. Tori proves her leadership by protecting Devin from Kim's attack when she could have just struck Kim from behind. She mentions as such. Yeah, save the day, but Kim being Kim is still unpleased. Kenny's done with Kyler, drops him, and then uses him to vault at his sensei, uh, Odell. Takes him out. So it's like, okay, you got the point. In karate and the exercise, I guess. Chris tells the story, finally, of how Silver, you know, he wants to take him back east to learn Cobra Kai from a master, Kim Sun Young. Well, master at the time. And a young granddaughter, Dayun, watches... The fight from behind the shadows. Kreese even knocking over a vase to keep Dion from being seen. He's like, oh, sorry about that, Sensei. Again. They just keep uh, sparring. Him and Young Silver. Young Silver says, hey, I bought, I bought you your first dojo. I want to use my resources to fund this huge tournament no one in the States has probably ever heard of or let alone compete in. Uh, it's called the Sekai Taikai. We win this Cobra Kai's way becomes the way. Kreese says, nah, my focus is the dojo, man. Train my students. Even goes as far to say, I, I got this little kid. When you know it, same name as me. He's got the potential to be really good. So that's his plan. Like I, like I said, Cobra Guy going global, and the lawyer number Daniel turns out has recruits. You know, he's like, now, now give me my end of the bargain. Opens up the paper. No mercy, motherfucker. <laughs> Chris fuming as he's been uh, tricked. You think you can take silver without me? They're sure shit gonna try. Which brings us to uh, Season 5, Episode 8, Taikai. That's the name of the big tournament coming up. The Sekai Taikai means a uh, world convention, according to Google. You know, Silver, yeah, I, I got the resources to get broadcast rights for the tournament in America, the one place you guys never been able to tap into. We do have the best dojo in the valley, you know. And our Daniel, Amanda, Johnny, and Chosen to contest that claim. And all senses and Amanda, just like, they all, like, Daniel LaRusso, Miyagi-Do, Bows, 
Johnny Eagle Fang Pals. Chosen uh, Miyagi Do. Amanda LaRusso, karate adjacent and curtsies. <laughs> That's just all I got. What? Everyone else got to do cool vows? I just. Mm. But yeah, they're here to contest Silver's claim. They should just show up and just like, hey, we want in this too. We want to. We want a chance to prove ourselves in the Sekai Takai. Head of the committee, Gunter, will determine. Mm, I'm gonna see how both your dojos operate and decide if either one of you are even worthy to compete. First time we see Silver actually rattled all Susan, like, showing up to his front door. <laughs> Aha! How you like it, motherfucker? <laughs> it's like, oh, is this... It's what you've been doing every... Uh, fucking Daniel this whole... <laughs> so you continue to be gonna be doing an episode or two. <laughs> Taeyun pissed at Silver afterwards, letting his rivalry get in the way of the promise he made to her. So we're saying, no, no, they're... They're good as boot. Don't worry. So both dojos get their promo work to convince Gunter to the tune of Van Halen's Unchained. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, nice. I cannot get there from here, baby, baby. Turns out to be a big Rocky Balboa fan like Johnny. <laughs> like Cobra Kai's all about state-of-the-art. Miyagi does the, the, you know, the, the tradition in the way of the fist. Johnny's there, he's like, mentioning the, uh, the sensei. He's like, fell off the boat in China. And it's like, what, what, you know, it's Johnny, you're not helping <laughs> It's like, okay, we get to the eagle fang part. Kicks a water, uh, kicking the watermelon on a chain, and it splatters Gunter. And she's like, we don't have the uh, the equipment or the history, but uh, you know, we're we are fairly new. But we have that like never say die underdog die hard determination. Sometimes you gotta climb that mountain, throw your head to the sky, and yell. And Gunter interrupts, Drago. I'm like, Johnny's like, oh shit, you're Rocky Four fan. What's up? <laughs> He's like, ah, like. Just like you, uh, qu uh, his victory over the Soviets saved my fractured homeland. <laughs> you know, I'm impressed by both dojos. You know, bring both, uh, bring one male and one female, your best competitors for a three-point battle. We'll decide from there. Tori is conflicted, knowing, knowing full well she's gonna get picked. It's like, okay, th this this tournament can mean big things for me personally. Like, I've never even considered college before, but I, I'm helping Cobra Kai doing this. She mentions this to Kreese, who's now all had a change of heart, saying, Nothing we did or can do is going to get me out of here. I want you to look out for you. Wow. So, once, once again, and so few words saying, take care of yourself, okay? Um, she was upset that all the planning she did earlier, now Kreese has resigned to stay. It's just, <clears throat> I, see, I think he took that previous episode's L coupled with the session with the counselor. Like, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe I ain't got that much time left. I gotta make good. Or is this more brumation, perhaps? You know, Lawrence can't be the only John that can jerk the wheel, you know what I mean? Speaking of, Johnny having a hard time trying to pick which students to rep their dojo. Trying to pick among Miguel, Robbie, and Hawk. Miguel and Robbie put the task uh, to the guy that stepped up and won the boy's side in all of Valley and Hawk. They make it easy. And it's like, okay. Because it's clear Sam's got to go back in and against Tori one more time. She's also conflicted. You know, Dad, you closed the dojo. I was, I was angry at first, but I took a break, got my head clear. Now I feel like I'm back where I started all over again. Daniel and Chosen tell her about their fight in the second movie. Chosen saying, I wanted to prove I was the better fighter, the better man I was fighting against. Your father was fighting for friends, village, Miyagi. Your dad knows how to fight for... You'll draw that same strength you do in the same. After they go their separate ways, Sam finds the octopus jewelry Miguel was going to give and tossed away back in the do do dojo floor outside. Meanwhile, Silver's got Kenny ready to uh, compete. I'm going to show you this move called the uh, Silver Bullet. This like uh, kind of like knuckle punch to the chest. Right spot, right between the ribs. That all f It fractures the state-of-the-art test dummy doing it, so... Kenny says, why the fracture? A shot to the chest is worth a point already. Silver replies, shortest moon of victory in a fight to win with a single shot. Yeah, a shot to the chest is a point, yes, but we see it in action. It will end the fight right then and there. And Kenny's all like, show me more. He's not here, so I'll have to say it for him. It's karate time. Kenny spots that Robbie's showing Anthony how uh, to karate now. He's red. Robbie tells him, hey, I know nothing. I know how things can start from nothing till it becomes this ball of hate. It's hard to let go, but 
it's, it's a good thing to let that go. You two can hash this thing out and be cool with one another. Kenny's like, nah, nah. Stay, Robbie's the reason he's even in here. He's got too much of silver in his head. Hawk grew the hair back a little bit just in time to fight Kenny. Not a, not the full not the full Hawk. It's just like a little bit. Uh, this has been building all season though. But again, too much advantage. Silver's dojo. Silver's paid off ref again. Keep this my way, my referee of Cobra Kai War. I say that but quietly. <laughs> Lord Humongous ASMR. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the mic for that. <laughs> It's like that. I see it like the head thing or like the oral thing. You just like. I, just, I think I just tap in my headphones. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I understand your frustration. You are tense and you need to. <laughs> Hawk gets no points for an out of bounds. Johnny's like, bullshit! The contact was the point on the inside! So yeah, it's, he gets the scream back after so long from Hawk, only to be clipped by that aforementioned silver bullet move. Bam! Just. Second rule of Quicksilver. Can't breathe, can't fight. Hawks. <gasps> ah, gasping for air, and the ref's like, ooh. He can't continue. Kenny wins. That's a forfeit. Seeing all that happen, Tori books it. She's like, oh, it's happening again. And I'm just, I can't watch this. Master Kim then psychs up Devin Lee to fight Sam instead, who should be down 0-1. Ref blatantly with the BS now, so the plan is to, you know, to... Like, I hit her, and, like, it counted, like, as a, as a block, and it wasn't a, a clean hit, so the plan now is to decisively hit so the ref can't just explain away a block being contact or not. So, yeah, sorry, Devin. You going against the ringer and Sam. She's been here since season one. <laughs> I know your potential is there, but since Kim is upset, you know, Tori left you and your teammates. If she is not ready to lead, I must make sure that you are. This uh, gives Gunther, it's like, okay, both dojos are going to qualify for the Sekai Taikai. All Danny and Johnny need to decide is one down for their dojo, you know. Johnny's like, we're Miyagi-Do. Daniel's like, we're Eagle, nah, we're a little Eagle Fang, too. I'm like, oh. You know, we, we, we got to where we're at by being opposing forces, yet united for a common goal. But uh, for tournament reasons, one dojo, one name. Uh, for now, party of the LaRussos. Sam arrives, octopus jewelry in hand during this, sees Miguel kissing some other girl. She runs off, he runs after her. Sam in tears, and from behind is Tori who tells her, Hey, you did not lose 51st All Valley. <gasps> Episode 9, Survivors. Sam furious at Tori. You knew Silver chatted, you didn't do shit. <laughs> Attacks Tori, calls on her to run off in tears. She's like, this was a mistake. I, I, Sam's got a point before you go, you know, once again, the Calcassity. You know, what went down in All Valley, it started the Miyagi-Do closing doors and almost fractured her whole family. If she knew, I don't think any of this would, would that, she would have to go through. You know, the boot down her dad took from Silver, the bullying of her brother, Cobra Kai, had a hand in all of that, and so did Tori. Guilt by association, she just runs off. But yeah, we're getting another celebration as uh, John and Carmen go to the ultrasound for the baby. Silver shows up to be Silver. Saying congratulations and all that, and since congratulations are in order. Uh, cousin Vinny and the Russo's and Chosen with the line of the season. That guy's always following you. He must be tracking you or something. I'm like, yeah, no shit. Because <laughs> he keeps showing up. It was too much with just Daniel in the first half. Now Johnny gets it. Can Cobra Kai buying Google Earth or some shit? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. good news of Carmen's pregnancy. You know, Johnny's wanting to strike first Carmen there, just not to. Yeah, we're close to a hospital, Johnny. You can heal quick. <laughs> Silver so saying, you know, how important the next generation is. Everything he does is for their future and his, warns Johnny. Uh, savor every moment of uh, your child's life before it's gone. See, after that goes down, we get the... Cousin Louie's like, ah, he just showed up. Probably they'll just be like, you know, let's uh, take you all out to celebrate. Can't do anything now before the tournament anyway. Daniel and the rest wear your silver here. The good news are Carmen's pregnancy. It's like, oh, now we have reason to celebrate. Cousin Louie's like, you know, I gotta make good on the whole car touch torching thing, you know? Sam lets the rest of the kids know what Tori told her. Bert's like, mm, I'm still friends with that stingray. Maybe he can succeed in getting a confession out of him. Where Daniel and Chosen failed. Robbie shows up solo at the Cobra Kai dojo. Whew. The gonads. <laughs> Yeah, you're, fa you're your father's son all right here, man. He's saying, oh, I let you down. I abandoned you. 
I'm sorry. Mostly sorry for not taking you all with when I left. Everything you're being taught here is bullshit. Pain does exist in this dojo, and it's built upon fear. You're all not past the point of no return. There's still time. There's still another way. So rest the students, they all... Yo, fighting positions! Kai! Tells Robbie, they heard you, but they listen to me. Master Kim definitely senses Tori's not fully committed to the Cobra Kai. Confirmed when Silver asks his students, you know, hey, the next time Robbie Keener or any of his friends show up, what do we, what, uh, unannounced, what do we show them? No mercy, sir! Kai! Everybody but Tori shouts this, and Dion picks. So, we got a clever Cobra in, uh, Silver, but a savvier always, always eyeing prey or predator in, uh, Kim Dayun. Stingray sucks at dungeon mastering. We, yeah, it's the before the the meeting walks in. He offers a, a party of three with this badass guitar solo from Metallicus. You all take psychic damage, like or something like that. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! My first of all, my nerd kicks in and yells, "It's psionic damage, you fucking!" <laughs> Besides, there's a fucking saving throw involved in shit like this. It's like you're roll an intelligence, like a roll an intelligence check or some shit like that. Or you, so, so you can at least maybe like half the damage or something. Shit. Uh, see, his bird is all stoked, and then the rest of the kids show up. Oh, Miyagi Fang, is that the new dojo name? And uh, not getting a confession right away because Sam's like, like her father is just, you know, you ain't lying to me. What, you know, it's your fault. You're partially to blame on what goes down. Just, I'm gonna, Stingray's where like, I've been working on this uh, campaign through D and D figures. Like, you know, it's you can sort of hide his story behind the campaign of how, if I tell you, Silver's gonna find out. Somehow, it's not gonna find out through a uh, not so thinly veiled uh, campaign. <laughs> like I imagine, there's this badass monk who did whatever he wanted to re-enter a guild after banishment from the king. So he made a pact with a quote silver-haired usurper and got in. Usurper took over. Uh, the the monk fears what the silver hair king will the new king will do to keep his power. He did almost kill Singray. I'm not, I'm not proud or noble like you, the monk. I'm not a warrior. I just play with him. The monk's just scared. I'm sorry. Sam's pissed not getting the right answer she was hoping for. Miguel apologizes also, but gets that they the two moved on. She, she's still mad about Toru, who now is a single target for anger at Cobra Kai for losing her and her dad's beat down. Miguel says in so, so many words that Tori had her reason. Should she have come forward sooner? Yes, but she had her reason to come forward eventually, too. I think he might have heard something from uh, Robbie about this. Because uh, cause when Sam and Tori run off, he's like, Dude, stopping them from fighting each other at the, the party. You know what's going on? It's just like, I have no idea. So I feel like Miguel has been like brought up to speed by uh, his, his brother... It's what a wobby. Chosen Johnny continue to bond. Johnny uh mentions oh, I was living too much in the past, thinking how yeah I could have blocked that crane kick. I thought it would fix my life if I just changed my past, but uh, you know, I got I got I got Carmen and the baby, Miguel, Robbie, all that's here, the present. I, I, I finally get what Ali was telling me uh, back in season three. He's living in the now, baby. Chosen thinks you know you're lucky. Family, friends, children, never got that chance. I do like this one girl, though. Oh, Eagle Wing Man Johnny. Let's go! It's like, oh, Kumiko, okay. They're all getting their drink on and leaks out to... Johnny lets Daniel know. It's like, oh, time to... It's it's time for Chosen to come clean, finally. You know, after the second movie, she found me and brought me back. Like, even as children together, it was, she always she always could find me hide and see that sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's unforgivable how I treated her back then. Never even told her how I feel as a result. Daniel's all like, you know, she's the reason you're here now. She always knows how to find you. Maybe, maybe she'll, maybe she likes you too, buddy. Tori, uh, Hurricane Arborone now being put through the paces. Yeah, stay after hours and try to break this dummy of stone blocks. Clearly not letting her leave until she does. Like Hurricane Tori being fed uh, by Master Kim that that anger and hurt about Robbie. She's like, I'm in this dojo and I broke well when you, you, suck, you stupid bitch. Gets her pissed enough to actually, like, eventually smash the stone and all the attempts before it. Her prob possibly her own hand trying, my god. The third movie wood plank board dummy 
raise the difficulty one above Tester Might style. Only problem is, Toy's not a Mortal Kombat character or even a sensei, so the hand is proper fucked. Awkward times at the club, Anoush earlier didn't want to go with uh, them at the party because he's like, Oh yeah, going to a party for the guy who j jumped me at work, I'm good, nah. But uh, Cousin Lou is like, Hey Anoush, what are you doing at the club? You do good to- <gasps> My sister Nessa, you son of a bitch! <laughs> they throw hands for a bit, make amends near the end of the episode. Chosen calls Kumiko, A lot of good came in me coming here. But to have one regret, not taking you with me. Ah, mirroring the Miyagi thing. When I get back home, I'd like to see you. Sam finally, meanwhile, gets to see uh, just what Tori's living conditions actually are, the state of her knowing the truth about the 51st Old Valley, and the state of her possibly broken hand. It's like, all right, tell me everything. Tori thinks, uh, maybe the building Silver gave Stingray was caught in that old secret camera of theirs. We might, we might finally have something to take him down. Hopefully it's soon, because the three senses uh, continue their celebration in the limo as Carmen and Amanda cap it off. Their limo driver's not the one they hired. They start to snap out of their days and think the worst, like, holy shit, silver. Which brings us to Season 5, Episode 10, Head of the Snook. Back in uh, prison, Crease is finally breaking down, ready to pack it in. Yeah, I, I made too many mistakes. All my tuchins waste. I lost my best student, Johnny. He's like a son to me, and now he's... Wrote me off completely. It's like, yeah. Counselor tells him, You survived this long to fight. Keep fighting to get an ending you're proud of. This time, not with your fists. He goes in to break up a fight between two inmates saying, Hey, it's not worth it. And gets stabbed for his troubles. Oh no! Is this how he goes out? Oh, that's going to be awkward once Daniel hears the news break. And he's like, Oh, <laughs> no, I ain't. Uh, fool me once. I'm mad. <laughs> Fool me twice. <laughs> How could you? Fool me three times, you're officially that guy. Hey, Grease is dead for the first time. Fuck you! <laughs> I ain't having that shit. Speaking of Daniel, we find out the kidnapper turning out to be Mike Burns pissed at LaRusso for his business burning down. He's like, we have arrived at the fireworks factory. Let's go. LaRusso and all three rival fights together at one scene. Remember, Johnny was trying to be a dad again. He wasn't there for the Barnes the first time, so they, they threw down for the first time this season. He's like, this is chosen like he's a bad boy of karate. You don't look so bad to me. Daniel trying to break things up. Barnes in tears. You know, I lost the store. The place was leveraged to the hilt. All my money. My wife hates me. She's going to leave me. You brought this on me, Daniel. He's like, Daniel's like, no, 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 no. Just listen, listen. Make it very clear. Silver's the blame. And the bad boy karate wants Silver's head on a silver platter. Let's all just all go fuck him up, the four of us. <laughs> Daniel's like, no, 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 this is a bad idea. Johnny, we're all drunk. And judging by Barnes' pupils, he's on more than that. Daniel gets outvoted, leaving him on the streets with no limo. Ugh. So now he's got to call Wifey and drop a pin. She's back home with Carmen, seeing a car pull up, and she's... Oh shit, it's Cobra Kai. Chosen, like, I remember Silva's address. And shit's on! Oh, but like, Silver wasn't prepared for this. All the senseis are there. <laughs> Barnes, like, oh, wants a classic Silver. You hitting henchmen to do your fighting for you? He strongmans one and takes a piece of statue bust to the back of the head for another one. So it's like, ooh. And then there were two, Johnny and Chosen. So much for not walking into the lion's den. They're, they're in it now. You know, but their argument was like... Like, like, Johnny, Johnny, this is crazy. And it's like, crazy enough to work. He won't be expecting it. Time to put Pandora back in her box. <laughs> it's like, I'm thinking Silver's gonna sick the Cobras on the LaRusso place again. But no, the kids are, uh, Dimitri says, you know, I'm, I'm a tech town and maybe get that Stingray footage. You would have to might have scrubbed it, download it to YouTube. So it's Silver that's getting hit on two fronts. And it's like, oh, okay. But he's got cameras all over, so he's like, okay, he's aware. He's like, Daniel Strainer trying to hitch a ride with a trucker. He's like, eh, walk it off, buddy. He's like, listen, listen, I gotta get home ASAP. Trucker smells the champagne and tells him, yeah, I'll, I'll fucking fight you for this. You, you're taking me in this one way or another. <laughs> so the trucker gets his buddies to come out and out of nowhere. <laughs> Stingray pulls up. Miss LaRusso, come with me if you want to live. Yep, the Cobra Kai car. I mean, and Carmen there too. It's like, so yeah, what an attack. Uh, it was the Stingray's car Amanda and Carmen saw and assumed the worst. She says, come on, the kids are in trouble. We gotta go. So the you want to be Cobra Kai attack got cut. The toy's like, hmm. Maybe he didn't think to scrub our uh, t 
my conversation with him earlier about the uh, oh the ref buyout. You know, that's a that's a confession we can probably find out on here. It's like okay, okay, the Cobra Kai's are here, and for all season they keep calling that one kid Mitch uh, penis breath, like probably since season one. But this season, the Miyagi fan kids have really let him have it. He's kind of based on a a little tiny part throwaway in the uh, season's episode six where he's. Hanging out at one of the Cobra Kai dojos, grabbing a quick sample of their, like, protein bites. And he's all like, what? <sighs> the caucasity of this Mitch. <laughs> but yeah, the Johnny's nickname of Penis Breath stuck where the... Even the smaller kids like Bert call him that. So, yeah, it's, it's been kind of... It's been kind of iffy lately. Sam's like, how'd you know we were here? Kyle and Ken exchange nods and he's like, hmm. Come stand here where you belong, man. Yep, they got a mole, the Miyagi fangs, and his name isn't Penis Breath, it's Mitch! Oh, this is so petty, though. Mm. Like, I, I don't want to leave Cobra Kai, I'm in, he's not even in it for the, I'm in it for cool, the, the, this place actually has a, this dojo actually has a roof and free smoothies and whatnot. It's just, Kyla's like, yo, yo, whatever, quiet, Penis Breath. Maybe the heel turn becomes a Yui over to the face. <laughs> it's like, that was fast. Like, immediate look of looking at him, like, dude, what the fuck, to Kyler. So they fight as does Chosen making his way to Silver, who is by now you know, you you been a habitual line stepper. They, those two go at it, escalating to Silver having a katana and Chosen's pair of size. Chosen like I am not afraid to kill Silver broken from the war. I'm not afraid to die. Chosen wins, but here's Johnny struggle against the other senseis by himself. I know he's running on a whiskey and white claw, but goddamn. But in that moment of hesitation, Silver slash Chosen's back, leaving him prone and bleeding. Johnny's battered and bleeding as well. Silver looks him over. He's like, Crease's best student? I kind of don't see it. At least you won't be around long enough to have uh, any more children to disappoint. Take his ass out. Meanwhile, over the other place, Robbie takes the silver bullet. Uh, so so now, uh, he's struggling. Miguel saves him. Anthony in there. They're all... And Dimitri, meanwhile, joins the bullied by Kyler till I whooped his wannabe alpha male ass club. Even you know, It's even lampshaded by uh, Hawk. After Kenny drops him, he's like, you got a new name, Full Hawk. And Kyler's like, hey, you got a new... Like, now, now the follower is like, hey, Kenny, laid your ass out. He was Full Hawk. And, uh, Eli's just like, yeah, it sh- shit happens, man. You win, you lose some. You ain't never gonna learn that. Like everybody you bullied, ever you never got out of that thing, and everybody you bullied, you bullied, whooped your ass. And Dimitri's like, I didn't. He's like, Oh, don't worry, you'll get yours. Kyler's too stupid to change his ways, like the rest of us. He ain't got that redemption arc dog in him. They're trying to upload the uh, clip to YouTube. Uh, all this time, Dimitri is like, Okay, uh, I'll I'll just have to get it on the Wi-Fi. We'll go mobile and get the, you know, the egg training from before. Anthony uh, managed to get the laptop. He's like. Form it up while I get the clip ready to be uploaded. While Master Kim deals with Sam and Tori. Uh, Tori's still nursing that injury, so, so we get first turn Devin. You have the chance to make champion, Devin. She's like, I'm gonna make champion without your teachings. Hey, Sam, you go protect your brother. And boom, long enough for the footage of Tori talking with Silver about the ref payoff is uploaded. It's on screen, whole dojo sees the real Silver. He shows up to try and rally his troops to yell. No mercy, but this time no one on Cobra's Kai and replies. So now Silver's gonna play it up like, uh, you know, they're broken and attacked me unprovoked. They did it because they think they're right and we're wrong. Life's no fairy tale; it's a competitive sport. Life's not about what's right and wrong, just winners and losers. He said this as Johnny is down, but clearly not out. He gets his, oh, I'm gonna be a good dad now energy and tears through the senses all, <laughs> all about all of them. Your show may be called Cobra Kai, but in that in that moment, Johnny remembered, oh yeah, I'm the main character. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that pro tag energy to go gear to go gear second or whatever. <laughs> Barnes back in time to get up to save him before he gets run through by a two on one. It's like where's Chosen? So now it falls to Daniel to beat Silver with his uh using his own three rules against him. Amanda even telling him, you know, we're all with you, do what you gotta do. Long time this whooping's been going. <laughs> Even beats him with the dismissed in movie three, uh, you know, quote. You, know, you, you think he can rely on that crane crap? He beats him with it. Crane kicks him right into a glass trophy case. You know, this isn't brow beaten or student of Miyagi Do, Daniel LaRusso. He's the sensei now. And he just taught you a lesson. Long overdue. So. Cobra Kai, you got your tournament.
But you ain't got no more students. Yeah, the, the, the first two out we see are Kenny and Kyler. They just throw their, uh, their cool shirts at the floor. Kyler later uh, trying to take credit for saving the day with the reporters. He's like, oh, I knew this, this place was going to become kind of cultish. And so, My name is spelled K-Y-L-E-R, Kyler. <laughs> yes. Robbie finds Kenny not ready for words. You know, I just, yeah, leave him. Be. He's got to do what you did, Robbie. He's got to sort through his shit right now. And kind of... Uh, Tori and Robbie get back together, as does Miguel and Sam. Johnny True Protag fashion admits to Carmen when he gets when they get arrive. Uh, you know, the thought of me losing my family if I died back there it just put me on a gear I didn't even know I had. Chosen the most hurt, but okay, like his he's got like that uh like his midsection is like all taped gauze and taped up like he motherfucker got like cut up and sliced repeatedly in the back, like I said. Yeah, they go back via the limo that uh, Barnes came in. He even li Barnes himself even lifted an original Rembrandt from Silver's Place figures. Yeah, it's got to be at worst at least a furniture store. Stingray gives his revised testimony. Silver in handcuffs. Johnny and Daniel breathe in. Oh, sigh, long sigh of relief. No more looking over our shoulders. No more. Him and Chris will make good cellmates. Investigator says, uh, "Oh, you mean John, Chris? You haven't heard? This is the third time for Daniel." It's gonna be, because turns out the stabbing took. This is Red Jello, the coroner looks over and... Alive and escaping from prison. Oh, my God. So revised his testimony. He was probably free, gonna be free to go, but now... Oh, my God. Shit, is he back to make good or back to normal? And arguably jump sharky season. But, uh, man. Tori, welcome to the best character club. Drinks are on ice. This should be your hand still. Scratch and claw and break her hand to get there, but wow, God. I guess if Team LaRusso senses are going to the hospital, I should check on Tori as well. Check for any uh, internal damage to that hand, you know, bone. But it's, it's nice to finally see her end her own confliction or plan the two pronged attack. She even tells Silver this once he shows up accusing Daniel of all this at the dojo. It's like, oh, fucking Daniel, of course it is. It's like, no, 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 this is this was all me. And I can give Chris a nod on this as well for, like, helping facilitate this. Told her good advice, you know. Don't, don't worry about me. You look out for you. This, you know, this this whole thing. I was going to, uh, I was going about it the wrong way. It, so few words. He got Tori right, which she then fixed everything and brought Silver to justice. He doesn't know it yet. He just he's just too busy with a plan of escaping. But yeah, it turned out she ended up being the linchpin. Anthony glowing up this season too. You get in here. You and Tori both took your uh, lumps and came out of this and became heroes by the end. Different kind of redemption where everyone has to kind of, kind of take lumps and make rights. Like, uh, even to those who I didn't consider for best character. You know, Stingray last minute changeover. Shark jumping with possible Kumite ass level world tournament. And this karate this aside. Because now the adult, because we're getting like more, even more and more adults getting involved. <laughs> Worst character. I know the easy, quick answer is Mitch for the betrayal, but dude got called penis breath for five fucking seasons. Some heel turns, you just oh, okay. You tune into the the you know the show after the pay per view and they explain their heel turn. It's just like, yeah, yeah, that makes fucking sense. He even says he never wanted, like I said, he never wanted to leave. He fell for the marketing campaign though. The fancy eats the juice bar and like you know it's, this this dojo has chicks. No offense, Sam. <laughs> like, dude, in what universe is it? Like, what are you going to get with Devin? <laughs> I doubt she's even looking your direction. But yeah, that dodo's done, I imagine. And Mitch right now... A man without a country. I doubt anyone's opening to welcome him back at first. But a lot of characters took lumps this whole series and came out the other side on the protagonist's path. So... Hopefully Mitch gets to do something cool and redeems himself. Pulls a, my name is Horace. <laughs> Monster Squad level of badass and <laughs> redeems in season six. Don't really have a power down as jump sharky as this is. I can't like. I don't know. I never. I never scripted one. I just. It's. Just the. Again, I forget Stingray like whooped on kids, so he does it again here, like beating up a. In his own words, the B team of Cobra Kai students just to get the the Larusos in the front door. I'm just like, you four pack it in. Stingray just whooped all your asses. That and the heel turn are just. More power offs than worst character. I think I would could, could go far as far to say, 
Uh, it's, it's just nit, a little nitpicky. Because the show has shown that uh, heel turns can be remedied. Miguel, Hawk, Robbie, Tori. Uh, the latter is nitpicky, too, on how the LaRussas get in the place. But uh, come on. Stingray whooped your asses? I guess you weren't there for the silver. What your enemy thinks of you is key. Not realizing that might go for what you're thinking of your enemy. You clearly underestimated this guy. It's just hard to say who worst is. Just about everybody showed up. Villains did their job. If I had to name one, let's give it to a, a moosh for not coming up and being a man about letting Louie know he was dating his sister. I know it's like the BS of B plots, but that's true. The Louie, you would have taken your lumps either way and kind of worked things out. I think he would have respected you for it. You know, you invited him and schmoozing and booze. You know, hiding it's a little scummy. You, you know, I, I would wine and dine the whole family, not just Louie. Yeah, especially with these, uh, you know, these Italian joisy boy types. La familia, you feel me? Yeah, power on being the fucking fireworks factory, the what I hope will be a future uh, Streets of Rage mod. You know, Daniel, Johnny, Chosen, Barnes. Like who's Daniel the defensive type, Johnny the more brawling type. I think he'd probably be like um closer to Axel than Daniel with the quick and the pressure points. I think I'd feel like he'd be like the you know he's got like the crane kick and everything. He's the more technical character kind of a advance like waiting for people to kind of approach him in a way but you could get aggro with him too a little bit but he's just not known for it barnes full power chosen probably the the speedy type or probably like the with the size like the most serious or something <laughs> states of rage has four characters there were four at the could just do the four senseis easy yeah just everybody coming in and working together the avengers assemble shit Big time with Daniel and Johnny, who I don't think I don't think had as much of an argument the whole season, let alone a fight. Like the one, like the one time, uh, the Daniel showing up all drunk and Johnny's just like, "Oh, you show up all this? What happened? What's what's going on, buddy? Like what happened?" Like Johnny's like, got a clear head and made good. Last season four, they were still at each other's throats. So I felt if infuriated at that, but like Sam, they took that break from karate and cleared their heads. They removed themselves from the forest and are now seeing it for the trees, so to speak. Am I using that term right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, oh! There may be time to do the, I guess, like, DBZ Frieza redemption for Chris, who, again, he may have an extended prison stay, jumping two guards and escaping before the parole's made or the mistake corrected. Though it seemed like from what Chris told the counselor, he's short on time. She said that as long as you're here, there is still time to do what's right. I, I kind of honestly would have been all right with this being like the last shot of the series in all honesty. Just Chris walking out and it's like throwing it up the air and we, you know, questions for a while now. And we like, did he make good? You know, that sort of thing. But, you know, we, we hyped up that Sekai Taika. I got to go through with it. So everybody got closure. But I still feel like we talked up that big world tournament. And maybe that's the big series ending. We got a uh, Master Kim either reaching out or being reached out to by Chris, and they take Cobra Kai to the big tournament? All while Chris trying to make amends with Tori and Johnny and everybody else, you know. Move and, like, swallowing his pride and culminating with Daniel and giving, like, a heartfelt real apology for, like, all he did. Like, a real chance to finally do good. Again, the season made it sound like Chris does not have much time left. With Diane still about wearing her family's discipline to go more mainstream and be respected, she knows it's like, you know, may tug at Chris like, this might be your last chance to get back. She was on more than one occasion a little harsh at Silver for allowing an already thought beaten LaRusso get comeuppance at the Sekai Taikai auditions, and now she sees him actually lose out to this Miyagi Do? Like, she was visibly seething at the fact that Silver's loss means her plan to spread the Tang So Do style is met with yet another setback. So she's probably seeking revenge, and it might feed into, like, Kreese's thing, and Kreese might be the one to, like, maybe talk her out of it or something like that. It's just like, we gotta... That might be the most interesting thing to see to me, the... Well, I saw a little glimpse of, like, hiding out. There's no... We don't know, like, the real, real relationship between those two. We see Miyagi-Do at the tournament. I feel like Johnny would be more in the, you know, gotta take care of the baby. Who knows? Maybe a... Even Kyler, who got a... Who gets a verbal ass kick and grows out of that alpha male bully thing. Who knows? Hawk dumped it, dunked on him for that. It's passe. Maybe we take some time to... Dude's coming off like the Emperor Pilaf of the Cobra Kai. He's just showing up to take more L's. I was going to say villain Yamcha, but he, he, even Yamcha knows when... 
Kenny still has a chance to make good, work through his feelings, make good with Anthony, like Daniel, Johnny, Eli, Dimitri, Miguel, and Robbie, and Sam Torrey, all before him. So, I probably wrote this back when this came out in 2022. Still playing the waiting game with the rest of 2023 comes to a close. They're saying it's coming 2024. Hopefully no more delays. You know, in fairness on them, you know, it was a while for, you know, I think this was a season uh, post-COVID and then uh, now, now the, the whole Writers Guild Association strike kept putting the kibosh on this season for right, writing this out. So, gleaming from online, uh, dude, all I know is a couple things. Uh, season six is the final one. Which apparently means it's going to go 15 episodes. So now we got a three part finale for Cobra Kai Day instead of two. If, uh, when all that airs and takes place, and I get the chance to watch that. We're also apparently getting the, quote, anti Miyagi. We're finally going to meet this Kim Sun Young. Is it just flashbacks or. Dare I say we might be getting a uh, legacy character like a Sun Young the Second or whoever down the line that can show up on a worldwide stage that the Sekai Taikai is promoting. Chris already broken out of jail. I doubt they're gonna. Tr I doubt it's gonna be out long. I just I don't know. He's probably gonna be like hiding for like mo just a couple of seasons trying to. Psst, hey, <laughs> and again, I don't know how that works out. Like how long? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Until then, take care. And now you play the winning game along with me. Fingers crossed for season six sooner than later, but whenever it happens, it happens, and I will cover it. So for now, thanks for watching. Hit the music. Oh,